hello everyone how are you i hope everything is fine and all is well on your end welcome to my channel you are listening to light channelings so um today i have a channeled message for divine feminines whose masculines as well as their family has done a lot of wrongs towards you and have brought you a lot of pain suffering and misery okay so this is the first thing that should relate with you if your person's mother his sister or sisters or brothers or cousins or extended family or anyone or all of them were just behind you to drag you th- through the mud or just uh, bring pain to you so that they can feel good about themselves for whatever reason they were doing that then this message is for you and it was not just the family it was your person as well your person was acting out of ignorance and pride and ego and was not giving or paying any attention to your emotions and feelings and what you deserve in the relationship you do share or the connection you do sh- you do share if you are not in a committed relationship okay so what was being shown is that a very very dark and just a second give me a moment here a very dark and painful time is ahead of these people okay and it is not something that is going to pass very soon it is going to be really hard for these people to overcome these challenging and painful times that are ahead of them and this is happening all because of what they have done towards you or what they have done towards other people which was very wrong which was very negative in general okay they were not learning their lessons and it was all because of pride ego arrogance and this tendency to always be in their head of having whatever they had and use it to put people down uh, do you know those kind of sadistic people that enjoy bringing pain and hurt to other people or they just like to put other people down like those of um the bullies that we hear on tv or we see on uh, uh, movies and serials and so on and so forth so these are those type of people okay and that's why this heavy karma is coming over them and it is going to happen in the very near future i am seeing that is that it is already happening for a lot of them right now this is what they are experiencing currently but if it is not happening right now you can expect to see them facing horrible things in the coming near future and this is nothing for you to be ashamed of that um, you for some reason if you feel satisfied hearing this because this is happening for you to receive your justice okay they crossed all of their limits and when i am saying this i mean it i am not saying or i am not talking about those people uh, that um, uh should i i give me one second here 
let me try uh, to explain it properly i am not talking about punishing people for making mistakes and feeling good about them i am not promoting that kind of an attitude here we talk about mercy we talk about compassion we talk about uh, spreading and sharing love but a time comes where um, these people need to face what they've done okay you can be compassionate from a distance you can wish them good but a time comes where things need to fall apart in their life for them to come down on their knees and clasp their hands in prayer and prayer and ask for forgiveness from god this is what i'm talk- talking about here and this is what needs to happen with these people now because they've crossed all their limits his mother your person's mother and his sisters or if he has brothers that were against you for any reason because you have different surname because you look different because you have a brown skin tone or you are dusky or whatever it become an obsession for these people to put you down and bring pain to you they were enjoying it can you imagine that we see this all in movies and uh, these these tv shows and we think like okay this is um, this cannot be reality but the thing is that it is a reality for a lot of people bringing pain bringing suffering putting other people down is a motivating factor for some people to live happily they enjoy that and, and trust me your persons family members are just like that are like those kind of characters you see on tv or in movies they won't be escape uh, they won't be able to escape from any of the things that they have said and done in a, um, against you they'll have to pay for each and everything and i am seeing it's going to be very tough very very tough even god uh, is not going to help them out in those tough and challenging times and by that i mean yes he will be there he will be uh, watching over them he will be seeing that they they are learning their lessons and they are going through what they deserve but they will not interfere in their karma everyone has guides everyone has angels these people are just not learning why it why it is so important to be nice and kind towards others you did nothing the only mistake you did or they think that you did was being connected to your person somehow and you didn't even choose that you didn't got a option to choose your person as your soul partner or your twin flame or your soul mate it was one fine day you woke up and found out that you had an twin flame connection or you're in a soul mate connection but they can't make peace with that how can this girl be a part of our family be a part of our tribe she is good for nothing so she deserves pain but for what reason she deserves pain because she is different because she is better than you because she is kind because she is special and you are not that's why i am seeing the whole family is going to get shattered because of the times times that are ahead of them and your person trust me your person was just acting cowardly the ex- excuse that your person found to mistreat you was that uh 
इफ माई मदर डजेंट लाइक यू देन हाउ कैन आई कम टू वर्ड्स यू इफ माई फैमिली इज़ नॉट अप्रूविंग ऑफ यू देन हाउ कैन आई कम टू वर्ड्स यू सो दैट सो नाउ आई हैव टू चूज समथिंग एल्स ओवर यू दिस वॉज द एक्सक्यूज योर पर्सन वॉज हैविंग there is one thing that the family is against you and there is another thing what you doing with it what kind of choices are you making your person was was getting so many signs so many synchronicities to make uh, healthy choices in their life and not give much attention to what his or uh, her family was saying but your person was just not listening to anything your person gave all of his attention and energy to his fears and what other people are going to say how his family is going to treat him he was afraid of uh, getting kicked out of the house yes we can understand that those things are really uh, difficult to deal with but at the same time what are you doing how are you treating the other person because your family is not good to i mean because your family doesn't know how to treat other people well don't you have your own minds or have you taken one second to sit and use your own brains this is the thing this was happening and that's why now these people will have to pay the price for everything that they've said and done and i am saying it again it's going to be very difficult very difficult very painful and i don't even want to um talk about specifics here they might lose their house they might lose all of their money they might lose all of their respect that they brag about the so called respect in the community that they are in they might get exposed to i mean um, robbery and things like that i am even seeing um, physical illnesses and sicknesses which will uh, really uh, bring a lot of pain and suffering and i don't mean to wish this on anyone but i am just only talking about what's coming for these people as their karma you know you cannot escape and get away with doing such horrible thing things to other people you just cannot no matter how arrogant you are no matter how what position you are on in your life you cannot get away with it so this is something that was being shown to me and uh, i'm sorry for that and for you the guidance is just uh, focus on your on your own healing because i see that uh, you are uh, really you need healing in simple terms what these people have done to you was very unkind for an, anyone to do to a person like you you didn't deserve it but you got treated that way and there might be a lesson for you to learn and uh, you have to give time to yourself to heal 
from all this just um, just try to be in the moment and uh, move forward with your life you're going to get the justice that you deserve and they are going to get the karma that they deserve and uh, i am not seeing any of these um, challenges or obstacles or sufferings lifted away until they learn their lessons so just um, pray to god that they learn their lessons soon enough because um, that is the only way you can help if you want to help or if you just don't want to then that's also fine nobody is going to judge you for that because you've had enough okay people really need to understand and learn that this this kind of belief that your blood family is the most important thing destroys so many lives in seconds and people really need to become mindful and open in understanding that the people you are living with and the people that brought you in this world may not be the type of people you can give me a second the simple thing one needs to understand now is that there is nothing bigger and higher than having kindness in their heart towards others just because you are somebody's blood family doesn't give you a right to put anyone else down that is connected to that person you don't get any authority over this people really need to understand these things now we've been hearing so many horrifying we've been hearing about so many horrifying things that happen in families because of this one belief that i am entitled because i am connected with a person through blood so i am entitled of everything no matter if it is good or bad this person is supposed to live up to my expectations it is not right it is not ethical it is not moral no one has a right to bring someone down because they think they have a right to do that and only because the society teaches that the family is something that you should always prioritize over everything else it doesn't matter if the people are horrible in your family if they don't know what is humanity if they don't know 
if they don't want to understand it is not the matter of that they don't know the matter is they don't want to know the matter is that they are arrogant and prideful because they are your family members i think i have explained enough for you to understand so um let's keep it short and obviously it was not sweet at all so i'll take leave now um if you're interested in taking my services please go and check the description box below and if you would like to make a donation for the work i do here on youtube for these general messages and free um, readings uh, you can write to me on my given even given email address and i will send you the link okay thank you so much for listening take care stay safe Stay healthy, stay protected, stay connected. Bye-bye.